Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me once again as I conclude Focus Fridays for this week. We're on Warhammer 40k Death Watch as the game we're focused on and episode 22. There's going to be, I believe, 36 episodes in total, so we're getting there. We're getting closer and closer to that eventual end game. If I can somehow get up to about episode 28 by next Friday, we could probably finish it out. So that's going to be my goal. I can't say for sure I'm going to hit that goal, but... Eh, who cares? Let's get into it and finish up part three. Darkness Falls. After many hours of fighting, the Death Watch have been pushed back by the Tyrant Swarms. Deep in the fortress, tech priests still work on the bioagent. The kill team must buy them more time. Alright, let's do it. Let's hope this works out. I don't know. I have my doubts, folks. I have my doubts. They are many. On this spot, we shall stand unbowed and unbroken. Our brother tech marines are still working towards our true victory. Only you stand between them and the enemy. We are like mystical unicorns standing against the enemy. Alright, so are there, like... Do we just survive? I mean, what do we... Is there a specific place that we must defend? I'm not 100% certain what's going on here. But, well, whatever it is, it's not looking great, is it? Um, maybe I can utilize something like him facing this way. Let me get, like, drill field number one over here facing down this way. I assume this is going to be another Overwatch fest. We'll see. Get Joe Fuel number. Yeah. Joe Fuel number awesome can probably chill over here. And look and look this way. Ah, see that? I didn't actually move incorrectly there. Who knew? I would do something properly. I know it's crazy to think. I think if I move down here and I focus that way, I'll probably get a better chance. And then this way, I can focus that way, and it's a little bit of a shorter range. It might be okay. And the turn, I imagine swarm after swarm after swarm of enemies are going to come our way, I assume. Did you hear the rumor about watch station Becris Troika? No, brother. My stay there between missions was short. They say it is haunted. That the spirits of the dead walk its halls. Rumors and stories, brother. Nothing more. Okay, so apparently our goal is actually to clear the rooftop, so why don't we get started on that? I will do a tiny bit of damage this way and back off, hoping that I can kind of procure a little bit of safety for myself here. We're probably going to have to do some sort of weird, crazy flanking maneuver, too. I'm not entirely certain. I think if we move there, we might be okay. And I think I may have to move uh, one of the Jofiels over here. Alright, so two, three, four, and five. Alright, so everyone's moved. We're kind of ready. Let's end the turn. Let's see if the big guy comes out after us or not. I have a feeling that he may not actually show himself. He probably should. Yeah, he, okay, he is actually going to show himself. Well, good. That's going to make our job a lot easier. Theoretically, I have a shot right now with our sniper. Oh, I do, actually. Yay! Like, it doesn't always work the way I, I see it going in my mind, but this time it definitely is. So that's... Whoa! Apparently we landed a critical hit there, which I'm pretty proud of. Oh, gosh, there's another one. Alright, well, how about I just... Hmm. How about I throw a grenade on you? How's that going to work? Is that going to feel pretty good? No, you didn't like that? I'm sorry. Not really sorry. I mean, I suppose I could pretend like I'm sorry, but it's not really going to change anything, to be honest. Alright, going to move here. Going to Overwatch. That way, gonna move over here to Overwatch as well. I suppose I'm gonna come down this way. So our job is to clear off the rooftop. I think we can probably do that. 
All right, end the turn. Let's see if the giant bugaboo comes out to mess with me and you. Oh, he is. He's stepping out. He's like, hmm. Well, I can totally shoot you twice. And there's nothing you can do to me. <laughs> well, it's true. Blood Angel, you are acting troubled. The red thirst is on me. The conditions are familiar to me. Greater thirst is on the death of the Xenos. Then by all means, go and quench it. The red thirst is upon me. Oh, there's more nasty bad guys down here. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to hiding briefly and hope that nothing horrible happens. It seems as though there are many enemies that would like to end our existence. However, not a whole lot of them get the opportunity to do so. Alright, so we're going to end our turn. And we're going to wait. I should have moved him one step further over. But I imagine guys are going to be kind of rolling out on us. Yep, there's the piglet. And I'm going to get some separation from the piglet. It should be far enough away that we can probably lay into him a little bit. And do you have the shot? Did we just overheat? We did. Well, that's crappy. Okay, there's nothing up there. Let's get you to step over a little tiny bit further. And end him! Eventually. Possibly. There it is. Alright, so we have another compatriot here wanting to get murdered. Which I am totally okay with. I'm going to roll out on him and cut him. I'm going to cut you. Get him, jovial number awesome. Yeah. Pimp slapped. Uh oh. Oh, you missed, fool. Alright, gonna roll out real deep with Orton. Orton's like, do, 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 do. And he is there. Alright, can we shoot from here? We can, and we will. Shot one, connect. Shot two, connect. Barely, though. There's our final shot. It also connected, and we're looking pretty good. Alright, I think we may swing around down bottom. And then go out all the way wide around this way. I don't know, we could probably split up. I feel like we're doing pretty decently at this point. We can probably manage to split up here. Well, the enemy doesn't seem to have a lot of answers for us right now. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm going to move Orton in deep. Aha! There is an enemy. Two, in fact. And assuming there's no one here, good. We should be able to get close enough to actually help him out. And I think Jofiel number awesome says he's got this on lockdown. He's going to handle it all on his own. I don't really believe him. I think he's being a little foolish, kind of arrogant, but... He seems to think he's got this, so we'll see. Orton's going to suffer quite a few shots here, I think. Oh, oh no. I wasn't really expect That was not really part of the plan, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing that could have happened. Alright, so somebody's going to eat some shots here. Alright, Jofiel number one is going to get shot to pieces slightly. Alright. So first things first, we're going to move up here. Then we're going to take care of Piggy McGee. And then we're going to supercharge Orton. And then we're going to get rid of this guy. See ya. And then we're going to move nice and deep black up in here. And then I guess we're going to go meet up with our boy down here. With Valerie. I'm going to come over here and we're going to throw out a heal onto our onto our compatriot. I'm like, did the, is the heal going to go off? And it did. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to move over here, and, well, we're looking pretty good at this point, i got to say. Not a whole lot opposing us just yet. All right, a little bit further. Aha, we see an enemy. He might be able to close with us, but he shouldn't be able to attack and close with us. So that's going to be good. It looks like a jovial number us. Oh, I was wrong. And no retaliatory strike. And you call yourself Jovial Number Awesome. Alright, well, we can scooch on a little bit closer. And we can try for a kill, though I doubt we'll get it. Oh, I was wrong. Yay for being wrong. Alright, we'll move there. I'm pretty sure you're about done. So you're going to come back this way, good sir. You're going to go up here. Probably over to maybe though. Nope, nope, you're backing up. That is definitely not going to be the play. Alright, we are prepared to deal with this guy though, so I think we're in a fairly decent spot right now. We'll see. Looks like the big man's going to move first up top. Oh, he went for a long range through the shadows attack and missed. That guy really shouldn't shoot at people with his supercharged attack, because it never seems to hit. Also, I, I gotta say, maybe it's... Maybe it's arrogance or something. Wait, wait, why did he turn around? He's not supposed to turn around. Did anyone else find that to be slightly odd? Like, he turned around on us. That should not have happened. In fact, that shouldn't have happened so much so that I'm actually going to get out of the way here so I don't get wrecked. And we're going to do a little bit of Bumpy McSquiggums goes crazy. In theory. We're not overheated right now. Okay. Alright, we're going to move here. We're going to lob out a Granade. He's not going to enjoy it. It's going to hurt him pretty badly. Okay, and by pretty badly, I mean pretty much not at all. It's not even going to affect him in any way, shape, or form. We're going to go and we're going to lob out the hatred for everyone in our path. Which also didn't do a whole lot of good. Oh no, it actually overheated us. Well, that's awkward. Well, I had, the, I had a big plan. You know what? Screw it. I'll just get close enough so we can end him next turn around. Oh, we actually can't end him next turn around. Alright, well, that's fine. Alright, well, we're going to go for broke on the next turn either way. He fired on us. He missed again. He just doesn't have a lot of luck with that. I'm sure that thing would hurt us really bad if it ever actually landed. But, oh, well, unfortunately for him. Fortunately for us. Unfortunately for him. This is not the case. Also, I'm still upset that he actually turned around and faced the other way. We're just going to punch him to death. I think that's going to be the play. Zephon's like, I got this, guys. Don't even worry about it. 400 experience. We've cleared the rooftop, and we have to get to extraction, or is that victory? That's victory, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. Sweet, sweet, easy, easy victory. All right, there we go. Um, eh, hmm. well, Valerie can get another level up. I think that's it. Alright, what did we get? We got the Sigil of Wrath. It's a tier 2 and it has a broken bone. This war gear can only be equipped by an ultramarine. Well, we can't do that then. Um, unless we throw it on Orton. Passive. Plus 50% damage when target is below 50% health. That's not bad, actually. Though, again, putting it on Orton, he usually one-shots everybody. So, not super useful. Alright, let's go to the Space Marines. It was Valerie that had the experience gain there. And we can gain 1 AP, 20% chance, a 1 in 5 chance every time we kill somebody. So, it's got some potential. I really wish we could get a better weapon for him. That would make me pretty darn happy. I'm also going to increase his accuracy a little bit more. There we go. Alright, folks, with that, I am going to end my Reign of Tyranny. No, not my Reign of Tyranny. And actually, I'm not ready to end yet. 
I thought I was. I totally changed my mind. I am ready to unend. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to go to our pain suppressor. If we can find it. Also, we have a lot of bolt pistols, and we can sell these pieces of garbage for a fairly decent amount of money. So let's do that, and we can get ourselves a couple more, uh, or at least one more pack. That's what I want to do. I want to get one more pack before we break off the episode. All right, let's go back, open a pack, see what we get. Buy a pack, tap a pack, open a pack, burn a pack. And now we're going to go right, left, middle. Oh, we got the Lament of Heroes. Oh, we got another Sanguinary Guard, but I'm sorry. We already have one, buddy. You are too late. You pretty much have all the exact same stuff that our last guy did. So, eh. It is what it is. It is what it is. But the Lament of Heroes, that seems pretty crazy. All right, 35 uh, damage to all adjacent units, plus two action points on first and second turns. That seems pretty epic. But it costs 3 AP, so it's like a sniper rifle with um, AOE damage and a little bit less, well, a little bit less actual damage, too. I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell Bel Belsino, though. Sorry, buddy, I know you just got part of the squad, but you're gone. Confirmed. Gone. I know. You guys are like, no, you could replace one of your other guys with him. It would have been fine. Nah. I like I like my current setup, so I'm gonna roll out with this until we get like tier four of all these other guys as well. So this is gonna be my setup that I'm gonna try to roll deep and hard with till the end of the game. So we'll see. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Who can say? Anyway, folks, that's gonna do it for Focus Fridays this week. That's gonna do it for Warhammer 40k Death Watch for this week. But look for more episodes next week and hopefully the conclusion of the game. We'll see, though. We shall see. Either way, that's going to do it. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.